Hi, this is Ben Ivey, the Fulfillment Artist. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to achieve your goals and a proven plan that actually works. Right, enough of these smart goals and all these different things that we feel that we have to create and then not achieving them, all these New Year's resolutions that we've set and not achieving them, no. You need a smart system. You need to understand a proven system in place that works. Okay, so there's 10 steps, we're gonna go through them and you will need to pick a goal while going through this to apply to make sure that you are really moving forward as opposed to just passively watching this video. So make sure that you are picking the goal and doing these points along with me. So, number one, create the goal, right? And you need to create it in the present, make it specific, make sure you can measure it, right? An example we could be, uh, we could be, wow, that we can make would be, let's say you wanna be, uh, end of 2018, you want to be 73 kg with 10% body fat, right? Easy, really specific. You want to have an outstanding relationship with your girlfriend where you have clear communication or something like that. Like, like just something that is, that, that you can, you can actually measure and look into it. And there's loads of different ways to do it, right? But it needs to be present and have some sort of time specificity on it. The time, it doesn't really make the biggest of differences because we're going to create the system to make it happen right now i know most people they're going to say to you you need to set a time on your goal otherwise it's just a dream yeah you do but give yourself some leeway right no one really knows how long it's going to take it could take you quicker it could take you less time put a ballpark figure out there and then the rest of the steps will help you understand how to move it forward and you may achieve it faster than you think okay number two you need your big why so what is a big why? A big why is understanding like why you want this. So let's, say, so let's say with the goal I just said, right? Because I want to feel incredible. I want to look incredible. I want to be like a Spartan warrior. I want to be able to be an inspiration to people. I want, think, write down all the whys and make sure that you're focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. So a reason is not, oh, because I've had enough of looking crap or because, oh, I, I don't want to feel this or I don't want that, right? Not, no, I don't. Only I want, because what you focus on, you get. So make sure you focus on what you really, really want, right? You wanna be strong, you wanna be healthy, not, oh, no pain. Th does that make sense? It's a subtle difference, but it will make the, the biggest of differences to your goals, because you've got that constant motivation. Instead of how most people work, which is, let's say, they've got a money goal, and say, oh, I, I wanna be able to pay my bills and have money left over, right? Crap, because what will happen is, they'll, they'll sort that out, and then when they've got that money, they're like, oh, now I can relax. Right? We want you to be constantly motivated and really understand what it is that you want. Next is you're gonna capture everything. You need to write down everything that needs to happen in order for you to make this happen. Right? So list down every single task. Well, I need to go to the gym three times a week. I need to get a trainer. I need to write a new workout regime. I need to get a nutrition plan. I need to do, do. Right? Like everything, okay? And this is like the brain dump, right? This is brain dumping. You just write down as much as you possibly can. Okay, so for your goal right now, pause the video and actually write down everything that you need to do. I don't care if it's long-winded, it needs to be everything. Because if you get it out your head and onto paper, then we can start acting on it instead of different things coming up. Next, prioritize. Right, you need to understand the most important things for you to do. Right, what is the priorities? I need to do this first, then this. I need to first get a trainer, get a regime. Then I need to sort of my nutrition. Then I need to go to the, uh, to the gym. Like, or maybe actually I, the gym could go first, right? So that's where you start to order stuff in your head. And this is where we're starting to move forward. Instead of you being scattered, right? You're gonna create the system to propel you towards your results. You're gonna make progress very quickly instead of you know scattered and just dabbling in lots of different things that don't get you the outcome and the result that you want. Next, Pareto Principle. So this is 20% of what you do creates 80% of the results. So what we wanna do now is look at what are the 20% of things here that if you do will create the 80% of the results, right? Well, put it this way. Like this example, you say, okay, well, I could get a personal trainer, but the truth is, if I know routines. If I go to the gym, that's gonna get me the results, right? The PT would be like the extra 20%. Does that make sense? So you really hone in and focus and what it is. Oh, I could explore all the diets out there. I need to find the right diet. Well, I could start a diet as long as I stick to it. I know most diets pretty much work as long as you stick to it. So here we're helping you really focus on the most important stuff and what are the, the tasks that are gonna create the biggest outcome for you. 
Next, you're gonna estimate the time it's gonna take. So you can do this, this in hours, minutes, you can do this in the Fibonacci sequence, and then there's, there's loads of ways to do it. But next to all the different tasks, just write down roughly how long you think they're gonna take. And then we're gonna have the total time that we feel this is gonna take in order to make it happen, right? Now, some of it's gonna be systems, okay? So the system's doing it like, um, go to the gym three times a week, right? Put that separately. Say, okay, I need to go to the gym three times a week. That's fine. And then there'll be tasks that you need to do as well, right? To help you um, move forward. That's join a gym, PT, things like that. So separate them. Next, schedule all the musts. So when the Pareto Prince, when we looked at the 20%, those are gonna be your musts. So now what you wanna do is schedule them. So look at your weeks and say, okay, when am I gonna do these things? So okay, here, 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 and here. And just say, this is gonna be like, I don't know, in this example, it could be body transformation, or it could be uh, love transformation, or it could be, I don't know, uh, making more money, changing career. Like, just put whatever the outcome is, not the specific task. And then in that time, you're gonna look back at your list and you're gonna start working through those things. Okay, so make sure that you've got enough time for those masks so that are really blocked in there and you can really help move forward. Next is do the first step. Okay, so after you've done this, like now, you need to make the first step because you need to start doing it. Instead of just chatting about it and brainstorming, we need to start taking action in that direction. Because it's just a plan, and a plan is just a plan unless it's acted upon and then it becomes reality. So it's time for us to really start acting on that plan and creating that progress. So think about, okay, how can I act on this? How can I actually do this now? Next is measure progress weekly. This is so important. Now, most people set a goal and they never really track if they're on track, right? So instead, measure your progress weekly. So then you can start to see everything overall. Like, how am I doing? And like, what's the progress here? What's the progress there? Should I spend more time here? And this is just a must. Like, I've spoken about weekly evaluations before. They are just the king of self-development and self-implementation, just everything. Um, so that's, that's a must. You've got to do those weekly evaluations to keep you on track with your goals. If you do anything from this list, weekly evaluations will keep you on track the most, 100%. And the last thing is reevaluate, right? Why is this important? Because when you reevaluate, you're looking at, okay, am I doing the right thing, right? Your list isn't a finalized list of this is the exact way I have to do it, right? You may have to mix it up. So reevaluate it, look at it. Okay, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Let's switch this around. Let's do this instead. And what will happen is you'll start to see things, okay, well, I should probably be doing this now and this now and this and this. And that'll be a great way for you to start really shifting everything because that way you're constantly reiterating, making those small adjustments and you're gonna get there so much faster than other, than other people. So this is the system, right? Now, what's gonna happen is you're gonna finish this video and you need to write down the freaking system. Because if you don't write it down, then it's not a system. It's just a learning. And then you're gonna look at something else and then you're gonna look at something else and look at something else like, do this. Do this, like comment with your results or whatever it is that you wanna do, interact. But th like this is uh, just the system that you need to do. I'm telling you now, any goal, anything, if you do this, you're gonna get it done. So with that, I wanna say thank you for listening and I'll speak to you very soon.